Hi again, everybody, and welcome back for week four of the course uh, on uh, accessible learning with technology. Uh, just a quick overview of what you can expect from this week. You're going to notice that I have not posted any new readings or resources for you in Canvas. That is because this week you are going to run the show in our weekly Zoom class. You're going to be uh, working with your groups and presenting your mini presentations for assignment one on barriers to meeting accessibility needs and the barriers that are created by guidelines and regulations. This is going to be a further exploration of some of these barriers uh, like what we did in week three with the selected case studies that I provided for you. But this time you're going to pick the topics and the case studies and present them in class. Of course, I'm sure that you may have some readings, resources, videos, uh, anything like that, uh, that your groups may want to share with the rest of the class uh, to help them prepare for your presentation or as a follow-up to your presentation. Or maybe you have some uh, burning questions that you want to ask the class and continue to discuss throughout the week. I have set up a discussion forum specifically for that for you. Uh, the group mini presentations discussions. That's the place where you can share those resources in advance of class or any questions that your group wants to discuss going uh, going forward through uh, the rest of the week. Other than that, that's all that uh, we're covering in week four. Starting next week, I don't have the materials here in uh, Canvas yet, but we are going to actually uh, start looking at how to overcome some of the barriers that uh, that students with accessibility needs face. So in week five, we're going to take a look at universal design for learning. In week six, we're going to take a look at uh, some tips and tricks and some general strategies, evidence-informed strategies for meeting WCAG guidelines and the standards set out by some of the legal guidelines in Canada for meeting basic accessibility needs for our students. Week seven, of course, is going to be reading week, so no class. And then when we come back in week eight, we're going to have uh, just a general introduction to tools that we can use to um, meet specific accessibility needs, as well as uh, creating our own rubrics and checklists for, uh, for evaluating or assessing uh, digital resources uh, and their ability to meet accessibility needs. We'll also be creating a, a rubric in class that we can use or a checklist that we can use to audit each other's papers or our chapters that we're writing for our open access ebook that's due at the end of the term. 